Within a business, within our office, historically, uh, the energy that a business has used has been a very small part of their total cost of being in business. But that cost is now rising when other costs, such as labour costs, are not going up as fast. So there's now an importance uh, to manage that cost within the business. Being involved in environmental sustainability means that the businesses are looking at the future, looking at the opportunities, responding internally and having uh, an internal culture of what can we do now? What's the opportunity to position ourselves better for the future in this area? What does this present? What does it teach us about the future? Well, I guess the starting point was actually moving to this building. Um, we've been, as a practice and a company, looking um, for some time, for some number of years, to relocate to a building that actually um, fitted our requirements. And um, moving here from a, a tenancy where we had very little control over uh, energy consumption uh, because the you know systems were basically you know run um, centrally. Um, gave us the opportunity to really tailor uh, the environment to our requirements and give us the ability to be able to harness natural light and um, reduce our en energy costs. City Switch is an energy efficiency program. It's a tenant energy efficiency program for office tenants. The program works by uh, office tenants. They make a commitment to the Lord Mayor of each capital city uh, that they are resident within. Uh, to undertake a series of measures, but most importantly that they start to measure their energy consumption uh, and they participate in uh, processes to report that publicly within the group. By having a carbon price that, that forces, if you like, business, you know, big business to look at reducing pollution. You know, it's that, you know, the bottom line drives things in the corporate world and, you know, it, 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 as much as We'd rather other initiatives to drive it. I mean, that's one good way to actually get big business or small businesses to look at costs is that, you know, by making that effort, you'll find you'll do things efficiently and save money at the same time. What we are seeing is an increase across Australia in total number of projects that people are doing. So each year with progress reporting, we can see that more people are doing lighting projects, more people are doing air conditioning projects, changing their photocopiers, that we're seeing businesses become more active. So while we're out there with uh, carbon pricing um, and commercial building disclosure for energy efficiency or other policy measures that are operating nationally, City Switch we can see that business is implementing change. Businesses are changing their lights, businesses are changing their photocopiers and the rate of uptake of those technologies is growing. You know, we sort of set out in our business lives to uh, you know, achieve certain things and we're, we're distracted um, by you know, other imperatives but the city switch framework actually you know, create, creates a discipline within itself uh, that you, know, you need to follow up on and you need to sort of uh, keep, keep on top of and it's created um, an environment where we're now looking to try and you know, go to that next level. So it's given us a target now. Mm. And one of the things that, you know, one of the things that comes to mind is um, um, photovoltaic cells, solar cells. Mm. They come at a cost. I mean, there's a, there's a capital cost involved, but when you can promote it in the sense that you're actually living in it, you know, you're working in that environment and you can actually talk about the benefits, you know, in terms of, um, you know, impact on the environment for staff, uh, the increased, productivity, um, not only that, the increased enjoyment that staff have in, in coming to work and, and I think it's part of that wider issue about global sustainability. I mean that's you know that's gonna be that's gonna be front page for many years to come because it's you know climate change is you know, that skepticism is now disappearing. The, the the data keeps coming through in the media in terms of that it's it's a very real impact on our on our on our life. So, and it does start, um, you know, from everyone taking individual responsibility. And it's got to start from grassroots, if you if you like.